Hey, this is Elijah from Breakdance, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at Breakdance's integration with variation swatches for WooCommerce by Cartflows. This is a plugin that allows you to display swatches for your product variations. Instead of just drop downs or plain text, it can actually show colors, labels, and things like that. So, to get started, we first need to go to plugins and we need to activate variation swatches for WooCommerce by Cartflows. So, we'll activate that. And then we need a product with some variations. So let's go over to products, all products. And we'll work with this Fedora product here. So we've already got a name. Let's go ahead and drop in a quick description. Let's do a short description as well, because that tends to be displayed in a few different locations. We've got a price and now we need to make this a variable product. So the way we do that is we click this simple product drop down and we choose variable product. Now we need to go to variations. Note that this is all just default WooCommerce stuff so far. And for our variations, let's just do a color variation. We're gonna tell it to make this visible on the product page and we're gonna choose a few colors. Let's do orange, black, green, and blue. You have to separate them with these pipes here to get multiple values. So let's create those variations. And now we need to add a price to all of these variations. So since we want them to be the same price, we can just use the add price button and click add prices. That'll add that $15 price to all of our variations. But we also want some images for these variations. So let's click here. And I have some images uploaded already. This was the orange one, I believe, so we'll drop that in. Let's go to black, add an image there. Finally, we'll do the green one and the blue one. Now this will allow us to have our product images swap out to the appropriate image when the variation is selected. So let's go ahead and save our work so far. And you can see kind of what the Variation Swatches plugin does here. If we refresh, we don't have a default product image. I'll fix that in a minute. But instead of a drop down here, we get these nice buttons. So if we click one of them, we'll actually see the product image that pertains to that. But that's not all this does. Like I mentioned, you can actually show the real colors instead of these buttons. So let's go back here and set that up. First, let's add a product image here so that we have an image by default. We'll choose that one. And then we'll go down to this swatches item in the product data meta box. And here we have our color attribute. It's set to default for its type, which means it's gonna show buttons, but we have a couple of other options. We have label, color, and image. For this example, we're gonna use the color type. Now, when we expand this down, we can actually set a color for each of these variations. So let's choose an orange color for that one. Let's choose a black color for this one. And let's do uh, green and we're gonna do blue as well. Now these don't match exactly the colors of our hats, but that's okay. And then once that's done, we can save that. Let's update the product and let's jump up to the front end to see what this looks like. So just like that, we have these really attractive color swatches with tooltips. And when we choose the color variation that we want, it actually changes the product image to show us what the thing we're buying is actually gonna look like based on our choices. Now you can have multiple variations, multiple swatches, and you can even display these in your product list and shop pages, which will allow users to choose their options and then add variable products to their cart straight from the shop page instead of having to go into the product page, choose their options, and then add to cart there. So again, this is Elijah from Breakdance, and that's a quick look at our integration with variation swatches for WooCommerce by Cartflows. Thanks for watching.